Hello, beautiful souls. This is Beth at Blissful Transformation coming to you again live with T and Tarot. And uh, today we'll be doing all the zodiac signs again um, using oracle cards this time. So, how has everybody been? I'm actually quite exhausted this weekend, but I've had visitors, and that's really lovely for me um, to have uh, a friend come back um, and uh, and visit. And last night we just uh, had dinner and then played um, Mexican Drain Dominoes. If you know this game, it's fantastic. So we had a great game. And then today I uh, had another friend, a neighbour, drop by, and this is the this is the friend that's been doing all the. Um, all the creations, yeah, Bella Angel creations. And I just want to show you this uh, that she's made for me because I bought something else today. Uh, but she's got, she's taking it back to put uh, a wire on it. Uh, but this is kind of, this is uh, an example of the work that she does, right? So she's made this out of recycled wood. Okay, so it's a candle holder, yeah? Or you could use it as a planter box, yeah? And it's got this, look at this beautiful, this is all natural. It looks like a feather, yes? And then she's put these angel wings <clears throat> on the side. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. It's just gorgeous, isn't it? Look, all natural wood. It's just re recycled, repurposed wood, right? It's that beautiful. So, um, so more stuff today, and I've taken more photographs and more stuff to go on my website when we figured out the shipping costs. Um, so yeah, so I've had a busy weekend, um, but a lovely, lovely weekend. You know when time just flies and uh, um, yeah. And the energies, as I said, you know, this uh, uh, this new moon that we had, this eclipse in, um, in, in, uh, in Gemini. Oh, it's just, it's just light. I feel like it's lightened everything for me. Remember last week we talked about um, the Mercury retrograde as well. And, you know, the best way to deal with it is just clearing out clutter and having a clean. So I did some of that, which was good energy. Um, and then doing something I love, you know, so or doing something you love. Uh, whatever that is for you, being creative, um, painting, drawing, sitting out in nature, walking in the park. <clears throat> whatever that is for you to to kind of take away all that uh worry and um it's not, not necessarily negative energy but it's just a lot of worry and um anxiousness about stuff now we're all sort of emerging out of the lockdown emerging out of spring and into summer so it's we're still in that energy yes but i do feel it's um i do feel it's a lot better yeah i'm sure that you're feeling it too right um, okay, so today I'm going to do the same, working from, uh, from Gemini, starting with Gemini, because we're in Gemini season. Uh, happy birthday, Geminis. Uh, and we're working all the way through the zodiac signs and to Taurus. Okay, so I'm going to be working today. I'm not sure which one. I'll pull different for whatever I feel, wherever I'm guided to pull, which cards to pull. So I've got the Akashic Tarot. I've got the Angels and Ancestors, which is Kyle Gray. And I've got Keepers of the Light, which is Kyle Gray. And I forgot to say the Akashic is Sharon Ang Ann Klingler and Sandra Ann Taylor. So those are the tarots that I'm working with today. And uh, um, let's just pull an overall card, yeah, for the overall energy for, for this week. Um, I do feel it's lightened and it, it's just been so beautiful. I've been out in my garden um, a little bit. This morning I was up early and I was out planting, replanting my cucumbers. I put seeds in and they grew, so now they're like little babies. So then I replanted them in their own pots, which was lovely. So I did that very early this morning. Propped them all up with little sticks. So I've got my little garden going. The guys came and finished uh doing the rest of the land uh with the tractor and then they'll wait for the grass to dry and then come back and collect it for the cows for the muckers as they call them in italy <laughs> i said i don't want any muckers on my land thanks you can collect the grass and take it to the muckers <laughs> uh, mucky nora <laughs> oh just that's hilarious mucker 
Uh, oh, gosh, they're flying out. They're flying out. We don't want all of those, thank you. We just want one card. One card, please, for the, for the collective. How's everybody doing for this week? What's the overall message for this week, please? Angels and ancestors, what can you give me? Oh, that one popped out. Okay. Oh, shapeshifter. Very nice. Okay, so let's see. Transform and unveil your gifts. All right, this is lovely. Shapeshifter, very uh, significant of Gemini, yes? Look at the two to two faces. So he's painted, and then he's got the wolf on one side and the eagle on the other, yes? The two sides of Gemini. Uh, so we're in Gemini season, right? Perfect. And, uh, oh, look, that's the moon in the background, look. Can you see that? Uh, looks like the solar eclipse, doesn't it? <clears throat> um, so yeah, so transform and unveil your gift. So this is uh, this spirit is here to tell us um, that we are able to do whatever we we want. We we have no idea what we're capable of, um, and this week uh, is a good week for um, going for your. Uh, the plans and the stuff so you made new moon intentions I'm sure for the Gemini moon which was on Wednesday um, and then sending them out to the universe uh, so this is this is the week to unveil some of your gifts and just you know be that voice be that voice you know uh, it's really important at the moment to to voice to have a voice is what I'm trying to say um, you know, we've we've been silenced too long, especially um, females, you know, many talking about hun over hundreds of years. It's been very male dominated. We've got we've we've been in that masculine energy and we're going into the divine feminine. Right. So it's really important now for female sisters rise up um, and, and, you know, not, not be bitter and twisted, but, but you know, just but but have a voice. And say how you're feeling. Other women are out there waiting for you, uh, waiting to hear your voice. Um, yeah, that applies to me too, eh? Because I'm. Uh, it's it it takes a long time for you to really put yourself out there and and do like videos like this, um, and it it it's very nerve wracking. First of all, you know, to um, to do a live and to talk um about what you know because you're like oh my god who's going to listen to me who wants to know that but actually they do i mean i've had so much so much feedback so much positive feedback um so it's just good to you know to take that extra action step and and move forward yeah and that's what we're going to be doing now we're going into the summer okay so gemini let's see okay i'm going to pull uh, keepers of the light for Gemini. So let's see what whole, what this week has in store for my lovely Geminis. So how are you doing, little Geminis? How uh, how is this uh, new moon eclipse uh, energy uh, treating you so far? Good, I hope. Yes, it is your season, so one would hope that. One would hope that uh, it was treating you well. Okay. Oh, we've got the Divine Director, Intervention and Purpose. I love the colour of this card. Look how purple. This is all about the third eye, right? Um, divine Intervention is occurring. Know that you are being guided. Happiness is your purpose. Perfect for Geminis right now. Yes, I'm sure you're feeling very happy. You're going towards happiness. It's your season, right? Uh, out of spring and into summer, the the uh, the the caterpillar to the butterfly, right? This is uh, the color of transformation, purple. Yeah, bit of a clash with me, right? Red and red and purple, but yeah, uh, yes, it's a beautiful um, a beautiful card for you, Gemini. Let me just uh, let me just pull one more for you because it is your birthday month, and I'm going to use the uh, akashic tarot for this. Let's see what else. Let me see what else that divine director is giving me. Intervention and purpose. Finding your direction, Gemini. Um, coming out of the shadows. It is your, oh, that flew out. It is your birthday month after all. Um, oh gosh, look at that. You've got... Uh, 
and you've got Archangel Michael. Nines, yeah? Nine is a adventure. Um, doing something new. I think I talked about this last week, Gemini's, that you're 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 doing something new. You've got purpose in your life, you're happy. Uh you've got the um uh what well, I'm sorry, I'm a bit tired. I'm trying to think of the words, they're not coming to me. Uh you've got the the guidance and the support, that's the word I'm looking for, the support from Archangel Michael uh to do to go on this adventure and do what you want to do. Maybe you're planning a holiday, uh planning to go and see the family, uh whatever whatever it is that you're planning, Gemini. Uh good luck. And I hope it works out for you because that looks to me like happiness is the happiness is here and happiness is going to continue at least through this month. Uh, I think longer, yeah. Um, at least until the the end of June. Cards are flying out as well. Um, at least until the end of June. Um, and. I think Gemini into July, yes, I would say, uh, into Leo month, right? And you'd be, and, and so uh, it's, it, yeah, I feel that for you. I feel that that's, you're going to, you're going to feel this happiness all the way. It's not short lived, it's, it's longer. It's going to go into July and you're going to be able to get that Leo uh, sun season happiness as well. And it's just going to accumulate and, and yeah. Hmm, very nice. Okay, so we're on to Cancerians now, right? My little Cancerians, what do you have for this week? And this week will be tomorrow the 14th. That's, that's that card stuck. Oh, winter. Take care of your needs. Take care of your needs, Cancerians, yeah? Wolf spirit alone so wolves um very happy alone um they also like to be um they also like to be in the pack uh but this for me feels like um you need to be alone you need to um as it said take care of your needs um we're going into your season soon yes so um very soon actually not yet. I think in another week your your season starts, right, Cancer? Like the twenty, like summer, the start of summer. Um, so I feel just get ready, prepare, yes, prepare. So have a little bit of solitude, and um, uh, it doesn't mean like you know depressed or lonely or whatever. It just means take some time for you, have some self care, some self love, do some things for you. Um, and prepare for your birthday time uh, because I feel it's going to be exciting. Yes. Uh, yeah. Uh, let's just see. Let's just pull one more. Let's do the. Let's do an Akashic card as well for you, uh, uh, Cancer. Take care of your needs. Yeah, the wolf spirit, Cancerians. You are sometimes loners. I mean, you're good with the pack, but you're also very happy on your own. Um, but I do feel that you just need to, maybe you've just been, some of you have been helping a lot of people recently, giving away a lot of your energy. You just need to just step back now and just, uh, have a little bit of self-care. Um, and, you know, go into a little a few days hibernation, uh, you know, switch off stuff, phones and, you know. Uh, just learn to say no, um, and uh, yeah, learn to say no, and come on, that's yeah. You you've got to be clearer than that. I'm getting messages, but they're just blah, 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 they're coming so fast, right? Clear, clear, please, clear messages. <laughs> Yes, take some time for relaxation, take some time for meditation, take some time for you. It's a busy season coming up. Busy, busy, busy is what I'm hearing, okay? So that's why it was like lots of information because they're trying to say busy, 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 busy. You're going to be busy, Cancerian. So take some time to take some time now while you've got it because it's going to be a great time for you, but it, you're going to be busy with friends celebrating your birthday time and, uh, and enjoying the beautiful weather, right? 
coming out of hibernation. Oh, and the five of scrolls, diversity. Yeah. So, um, yeah, coming up to your birthday month, this is more to do with your birthday month. Um, and this is about busy, busy, busy. This is about more studying, more learning, more creativity, more uh, collaborating with others. Um, and so prepare. Yeah, prepare. This is studying. This is preparation. So take the time now before you go into anything. I, I mean, I talked about your birthday, but, you know, maybe it's um, an, not, not, not an adventure, not the same as Gemini. But I think that this is something definitely new um, that's coming in for you. Um, someone's offering you something. Hmm. New opportunity, new job, new relationship. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, but you've got to take the rest first. Take the rest, clear your mind so that you know when that opportunity comes to you uh, what to do, okay? So you're not rushing headlong into anything, right? Interesting, okay. So, Leos, my lovely lions and lionesses. Uh, what do we have for you for... This coming week, Monday the 14th of June. Oh, the stag, that's lovely, okay. Um, trust and thrive, okay, this is lovely. Uh, this is my spirit animal, the stag, just beautiful, yeah. Very strong, um, trust and thrive. I think that Leos have been through this thing already. I've talked about this, um, uh, talked about this last week. We've been through like the dark night of the soul, I feel. Um, and we've just become uh, very untrusting. I feel that this is not, not per se trust, but this is about boundaries. You've got to have boundaries, right? Um, and I think this is sometimes where Leos fall down is that we're, um, you know, we, we, we're very generous. Um, um, and, you know, you like to give away, you've given away too much energy. Um, and the stag is here to remind you, just keep hold of your strength, put your boundaries in um, and and then you'll thrive. Yeah. So if you're feeling depleted, I'm going to pull one from the uh, from the keepers of the light. Yeah. Another one for you. Uh, so, yeah, if you've been if you're feeling a little depleted, um, just put those boundaries in. And uh, oh, OK. Oh, that's perfect. So this is Elmora and Awakening Presence. But I'll tell you the message here with this one. It says, the universe is with you. Wear a cloak of protection and love. See, a little bit of protection, yeah? So you've got the stag energy. So you've got a lot of protection at the moment from the universe. But you've got to set the boundaries, yes? Um, I don't think I can say more than that, really, yes? Set the boundaries, um, and trust your circle, yeah, just the circle of trust, right? So just trust those people around you and uh, and stop giving it out to everybody, right? <laughs> it's not necessarily a negative thing, but uh, I do know that that's... Uh, little Leos, they like to do that, right? Spread ourselves too thin and then we we're left depleted, right? Okay, my uh, little Virgonians, little Virgo virgins. What have we got for you today? Oh, no, that's way too many. I'm not taking all of those. Just want one, please. For Virgos, for the week of Monday, the 14th of June. I think the 14th. This, I'm sure it's the 13th today. Oh, gosh, it could be the 15th tomorrow. But I'm pretty sure um, I've got no way of checking... <laughs> Because I'm live on my phone. I can't check anywhere else. My watch doesn't have that on. So, uh, okay, that flew out. Let's see. Have a look. What's for Virgo? Oh, the hunter. Track down your fears and desires. Oh, that's lovely, isn't it? Look at him. The horned, horned, horny beast. 
<laughs> He's rather good looking, isn't he? Uh, so, Virgos, uh, track down your fears and desires. Okay, so I think, Virgos, this Gemini um, period that we're going through, this has affected you um, a lot with the anxious, the worry, um, and more so than ever. So you've got to, yeah, track them down. Find those fears face them and say okay here you are but then you've got to say fear you're going that way and i'm going this way okay um because you want to go towards your desires yeah so track down the fears put them in front of you say right what are they what's the worst that could happen if if i uh if i face this fear and then you can move ahead towards what you desire don't let that um that energy at the moment the worrisome energy that's in the air um get to you remember what i said remember to be creative uh find something to occupy your mind so that it doesn't get bogged down with the worry okay uh i'm going to take one from the akashic for you just to give you a little bit more um information give you a little bit more of a direct answer i like the oh gosh that came out really fast okay that's stuck and that's number 14 initiation and the count saint germain very nice so the count saint germain has appeared many many times yes although he died many years ago um he has appeared many times people have seen him over this over the past uh, couple of centuries um and so he's an enlightened soul yes like an ascended master um there for the um the disciples um so let me see so we've got yeah the worry and the anxious okay so he's just here to tell you um you know you know what you're doing yeah I've got I've got your back. I've you've got the strength from the universe. Go you've got you're ready. Look, you're ready. You know, when the students are ready, the teacher appears, right? You're ready. So you but you've still got all these worries and these fears. So whatever it is you're going for, um yeah, be the hunter. Don't be the hunted, right? Track down, hunt those fears and go, right, fears, I see you, and you're not getting the better of me, right? Uh, face them, go forward for your desires, yes? You're ready, right? You're ready. All right then. Very good. Can I take some water? Oh, you know what? It's really funny because um, I've had this busy weekend, like I said, I'm really tired. I was like, oh, I've got to do this tea and tarot, you know. And then as soon as I start doing this, I get like this um, burst of energy. I love doing these videos, right? I just love it. It's like gives me a second wind. And then afterwards, I'll probably just go and do something in the garden, right? I mean, before I was just ready to fall asleep on the sofa. <clears throat> and after these videos, you know, I've, I'm, it gives me a bit burst of energy. Um, and then I go out and, and do something productive. Like I might clean up the kitchen or go and cut down some things or clean up some grass that the guys have cut i'll do something productive right um and that's the thing about doing what you love you know that you're doing something you love when you've got a lot of energy and it's a pleasure to do it so when i say be creative uh, and do something that you love i mean it i mean really do something that you love right uh like talking to my friend that's making these things she said oh my gosh beth i just i i you know she said I've, i spent hours she goes and her time just goes she goes and i'm just like oh my god i've been doing it for five six hours she goes and I'm, the time's just gone because you're doing what you love so time is of no essence when you're doing something that you love it just goes really fast okay librans what that's stuck Libra, Libra, what's for you for this week? Monday the 14th or 15th of June. This coming week, starting from tomorrow. You've got the Shaolin, <clears throat> the Shaolin Master. Be graceful in movement and action. Oh, like the grasshopper. Yeah, oh, what's that Bruce Lee thing? Be, be like water, flow. Yes. Uh, you know, Libras, you're, you're the, the, the balance, the scale. You see the two fists. 
He's got one with a grasshopper in and he's got another one with a bull. So he's really balancing stuff at the moment. Mm, so, uh, yeah, you are the scales, but maybe your one's tipping away the other at the moment. Maybe you're giving more energy to something than the other and you just feel a little bit out of whack this week, a little bit out of balance. Be careful. Yes, be careful with who you're giving your energy to. Um, let's get uh, let's get a clarifier with the Keepers of the Light. So the Sha Shaolin Master, I think that's how you pronounce it. Shaolin, Shaolin. Pretty sure it's Shaolin Master. Be graceful in movement and action. Yeah, so you've got... You've got the two fists. Mm, I wouldn't say that's angry. I'd just say, mm, I don't know. I'm getting that though. I'm getting that kind of frustratedness. Are you feeling frustrated? You've got the grasshopper. <sighs> yeah, Bruce Lee is still coming to mind though. And the dragon in the background. You see, you've got the dragon in the background. And he's got a little golden ball of light, right? Oh, it's like the Jiminy Cricket thing. Ah, oh, that's why I'm thinking of the, the this little grasshopper. I'm thinking of the, you know, the Jiminy Cricket on your shoulder I talked about. Yeah, maybe this this Jiminy Cricket here. Somebody somebody talking on your shoulder. Somebody, you know, you want to go here, but some somebody or some or 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 someone, somebody or more than one person is kind of dragging you, keeping your energies quite low. Um, and this is where you're trying to get to, but it, you keep getting pulled back by this, you know, uh, negative, um, low energy, lower energy, not really low, um, because I know that you like workers here watching this, uh, this ta team tarot, but lower energies, just, uh, pulling you back a little bit, um, and you're like, oh, God, I just want to get rid of that. Just, I need to go that way, right? And you're trying really hard to raise your vibration. Okay, so Lady Portia. Lady Portia is the same. We had Saint Germain from the Akashic Records for Virgos. So Libra, you've got Lady Portia. So Lady Portia and Saint Germain are, are mostly together. Uh, they hold the violet flame. So this is divine order. And it says, do what you feel is right. An important lesson is unfolding. Okay, so that's that's exactly what I was saying here about this lower energy pulling down. So a lesson lesson is unfolding. You're going to have to make some decisions. You need to get rid of this lower energy, this, Jimmy, this, this bloody Jiminy cricket on your shoulder going, mm, you know, you can't do that, you can't do that, mm, you know, pulling you down. You need, to, you need to go and you need to go up to this ball of light, right? Yes. So... Whatever it is, whatever lesson you're learning, uh, I think you're going to get through it pretty fast. Yeah, because it's kind of, I feel like it's getting on your nerves, <laughs> pulling you down, right? Uh, great. Very good. All right. So, who have we got now? We've got Scorpio. <sighs> little Scorpionies. Oh, I mean, I've seen a lot of little scorpions outside since they cut the grass. They're all scurrying, right? They go, oh my God, my habitat's gone. <laughs> uh, I have to be really careful because if the cats get bitten by one of those, for humans, not so bad, but if the cats get it, it's not very nice for them. Um, you know, and their cats just like to play with things like that. You know, lizards and the mice, you know, they'd like to bat them around and you don't bat a scorpion around, right? They'd whoosh. I love you. Same as humans, right? Human Scorpios. You know what you mean. Well, you know what I mean, Scorpio. You know, you've got that whew, sting in the tail, right? You're just like, yeah. Uh, oh, lovely. Right. So we've got for you, we've got summer. Bask in joy and light. Oh, that's lovely. Look at that bee. So it seems to be that you found your hive. You're uh, thriving right now, Scorpio. You did have that pink moon. I, st I still think that, you know, it took a long time for the rest of us to get through that. And I think you're riding that wave of that Scorpio pink moon that we had. That energy is still kind of in the background a bit, you know. It really is. But I think that that's, uh, you, you're, you're still riding that wave um, and basking in that uh, joy and light. Uh... Okay, I'm going to pull a Keepers of the Light with that one, yeah? Mm, sure. Yeah, okay. All right, yes, Keepers of the Light. Okay, so let's do that. I 
I don't know if that's a wasp or a bee, or is it just a fly? I don't know. What do you think? I think it's got a longer body than a bee, yeah? I think that might be a wasp, and that is the, the sting in the tail, right? Yeah, a bit stingy, right? Yeah, I could pull the book. I could have a look at the book and uh, and see. But, uh, yeah, you're not, you don't take any shit, do you, Scorpio? Excuse my French. But you don't take any crap, do you? You really don't, right? Okay. So we've got uh, um, Hilarion or Hilarion. It's, I always call him Hilarion and it always makes me laugh. I always go, Hilarious, Hilarion, right? He, he looks a bit stern here, but he's very heart-centered. This is uh, a lot of green light, very, you see the, the green is, is, that's the heart chakra, right? So divine healing. Honor your sensitivity. Retreat to recharge and, and heal. Your light can support others, right? Your light can support others, I think is the main mes message here. So bask in joy and light. So here we go. So you are still riding that wave, but why don't you just share it a little bit? Yeah, share the love, share the light. You're basking in joy and light, share the love, share the joy, share the light. Sharing is caring. <laughs> so that's uh, that's the message for you, my little scorpions. That's lovely, very nice. Light can support others, absolutely. And you know what? Uh, you know, we do need it. Everybody needs it. Everybody needs a little bit of uh, of love coming their, their, own, their way. You know, we're all, we, 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 we strive to keep that love and light and we strive to make it as happy as possible. But you know what? We have crappy days too, it, you know, it's... But uh, as my great auntie used to say, and my mum uh, says the same thing to me, you know, there's only as many hours in a bad, bad day as there are in a good day, right? So... Pretty much, you know, tomorrow is a new day. This day, this this time, this too shall pass, right? Um, sorry, I'm having a problem here with these cards. Do you want me to use these cards? No, okay. Well, that would explain it then. Okay. Uh, we're doing Sagittarius now. Sagittarius, we're doing Keepers of the Light as your main card. Very good, perfect, thank you. The other ones were sticking together and I just... just did not want to play at all, did not want to shuffle at all, so that was the message, no. You're not having angels and uh, and ancestors today, Sagittarius. You are, main card is Keepers of the Light. Okay, so what message do we have then? If you don't want me to use the other cards, what message is there in these cards? For Sagittarius, oh, okay. Dwal cool. Dharma, oh, I love that. Dharma unfolding, right? Remember that you're on a path. Take one step at a time to happiness. Oh, I love Dharma. Um, karma. I'm just, you know what? Let me just have a look at Dwal Karl because um, I'm, I want you to, obviously there's a special message here. Um, so he's a Tibetan Buddha master, okay? So, uh, yeah, Tibetan Buddha, mas Buddha uh, Buddhist master. He said to have had many inclu uh, uh, incarnations, including as a devotee of Buddha himself, um, and one of the three wise men from the uh, for baby Jesus, right? Uh, so when this card appears in a reading, it reminds you that your path is unfolding as it should be. Take one step at a time. Remember that your only spiritual function is to be happy. You are a powerful person with many lessons under your belt and a real capacity to share your wisdom with the world. Yeah, you know, Sagittarius are just such happy people. I mean, the fire, fiery people, um, but they are just really uh, full of jokes um, and they go with the flow, really, Sagittarius, lovely people. Uh, so take the time to go over what you have learned and uh, dwell call is now working with your angel guides to help your journey unfold like a beautiful lotus flower one petal at a time well isn't that lovely right what a beautiful card to have dharma unfolding sagittarius great message lovely week coming for you i think this message goes further than this week um i would think this is a mm, this is like a three month message for you right three to six months at least um maybe for the rest of 2021 uh your journey is unfolding um and it really is a beautiful card to pull 
Obviously, that was a special message for you. Right. So, who's next? Oh, I'll tell you what's next. Water is next for me. It's lovely living on a mountain. I could just hear the birds and the silence and that's it. Occasionally the, the guys are told you go past in the tractor or the guy with the little uh, moped comes uh, comes past his little uh, mountain bike, I suppose it is, mountain bike, yeah. Uh, he does the rounds through the forest and round, and, but it's not very often, right? Okay, so Capricorns, yeah, okay. Capricorns, angels and ancestors, let's have a look. But otherwise, it's just lovely and peaceful here. It's just wonderful. Oh, see? No problem that time with the cards. Not sticking very good. Let's do another shuffle, please. And Oh, very good. Excellent. And let's uh, see what's up for Capricorn this week, please. Sunday today. Let's see what this week has in store. Uh, this is the second week of June 2021. Okay, there's two cards stuck together there. Yeah, okay, they want me to take them. Okay. All right, so we've... Oh, we've got the Hunter, the same card, and we've got Wise One. Grow within your current situation and track down your fears and desires. Okay, so here's your two cards. Uh, Capricorn. Okay. Um, actually, yeah, look at this. This one was the first one and then this one was underneath. So this is the secondary card. So your first one again is about those tackling those fears. So, um, maybe you've been swept up with this Gemini energy. Um, and you know, you want to go forward, but those fears, you've got to push them. So the way to deal with them is either to, to do them full on or to start, you know, do something creative that you love. And by doing something creative that you love, it takes you to the next step and it takes you to what you desire, right? That's all it means. And then the wise one, grow within your current situation. You've got the owl here, right? And the moon, right? So the owl, I love, oh, I love owls, right? Um, and you've got the crow. So the crow is a messenger. Okay, let me look. So we've had the hunter first. Okay. Okay, so. Yes, you are feeling that energy for sure. You're feeling the energy of the... Um, that Gemini, that Gemini moon. Um, and, you know, my advice is, is exactly what I said, is to go um, to do something creative and put your efforts and your time and your love into that, into those projects. Um, and your current situation is now. So stay in the present moment. So don't worry too much about the future and, and the desires that it says on this, okay? I want you to stay in the present as much as possible don't definitely stop looking behind you. you've got nothing to, you, you've 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 learned the lessons but you you can't you can't look in the past capricorn okay you've got to keep moving forward um but if it's too daunting and it's too scary stay in the current moment all you've got to do is just put one step in front of the other so do the first action step what's the what's the next um obvious step to take right and do that and then take the next obvious step okay you don't have to just run before you can walk so take just the one step at a time but but you know the, you're you're a little bit up in the air at the moment so i feel that grounding stay in the current um stay in the current moment okay um ground yourself in nature if you need to yes um 
I'd love to see an owl out here. I see many of these uh, crows and blackbirds and all other types of birds I've seen. Weird and wonderful birds. Beautiful, but I haven't seen yet an owl. I'm like, oh, I want to see an owl. Um, but yes, but it's about nature. And nature is, um, what I'm trying to say about nature is that it's great for grounding. But it's the current situation. Stay in the present moment. Okay? I hope that helps. And I hope that made sense. Okie dokie. So now we've got Aquarius. Aquarius. How are you doing, Aquarius? How are you doing, baby? Oh my lord, that just all right, okay. I tried, I tried. It flew out and I tried to put it back in the pack and it wouldn't go in. <laughs> Didn't want to go back in the pack. So I'm guessing that's your card, and it's the high priest. Intend and create. Intend and create. So what are you creating? Uh, let's see. You've got a project on the go. You've got the Merkaba. Hmm. What do light workers, Aquarius, need to know? Very intelligent. So you're getting signs from the universe. Definitely look at this. This is the Merkaba and this is the rays of galactic energy coming down the ringing in the ears remember that i talked about many times the human residents maybe a lot of you are feeling that aquarius maybe you uh you're feeling that energy um and is it it's throwing you off balance okay i'm going to pull another card because uh, i want to get a clearer message so let's have uh let's have the akashic tarot for you and we'll see. Okay. Let's give that another little shuffle of Um Okay. Trying to get more messages for this high priest. So what other messages have you got for Aquarius, please? What is this high priest intend to create? And what else do they need to know? Because that is a little... Little unclear. We're all getting messages, galactic messages at the moment. So what else do Aquarius need to know, please? One more card, please. Thank you, Akashic Tarot. Which one? This one or this one? This one. Okay. Oh, okay. So we've got number 13. You've got the High Priest and the Buddha prepares. Okay. Right. So you're getting the downloads because you're preparing for something great. OK, so be patient, be patient, intend and create. Yes, but you're going to have to have the patience. So whatever you're, you've, you've made your intentions, you're creating something, but you've got to have the patience. OK, uh, remember Buddha sat under the uh the Bodhi tree for how many times? You don't need to do that long, but, you know, just have some patience, right? Have some patience. Um, Aquarius, I know you're not very good at that. You're not very good at patience, but you're going to have to learn some patience. Um, and, yeah, look, he's holding that at arm's length, right? So he's, this high priest, he's holding it at, you know, he's, he's like, so he's, he's going. You know, when you say to someone, okay, buddy, that's enough. It's enough space. That's your space and that's my space. It's almost like it's this it it it's you've got to like put your hand out and go, that's my goal, and I'm going to take the steps to get there. But you can see it, it's very frustrating because you can see it. it's right there, right? It's right there at arm's length. But it's taking time to get there. So you're going to have to have a little bit of patience. And again, it's like as a Capricorn, take one step at a time. But just know that, just know that you've got this, you know, you're getting a lot of information, I feel, Aquarius. You're getting a lot of these downloads. Um, and as light workers, we've all been getting them. I know that. Keep an eye on the Schumann resonance for when you're not feeling great and it knocks you sideways, okay? Um, and just know. Oh, there's another message here about arm's length. Okay. You like to do, you want to do things alone. 
but you and you and you say you're pushing people away as well and that i think that's necessary in some at some points not always this is definitely about your goal you can see it's in arm's reach your goal is in arm's reach but just have a bit more patience but it's also about um setting boundaries there you go thank you <laughs> because i'm having to do that too right leo setting boundaries so this is again and that makes sense really because on the zodiac sign leos and aquarius are opposite but they also have some things um that are, are very similar in their um in the everyday life right if that makes sense um very good friends leos and aquarius can make very good friends but i feel that that again is make it is, is boundaries that's what it is but it's also your goal is is in sight okay but you're going to have to have the patience <sighs> i took a long time to come through thank you <laughs> some take longer than others right um just depends on the message anyway i hope that you're enjoying these i really like him doing these right a lot what's the time now quarter to seven so 45 minutes and we've got next is little piscians pisces and then we've got aries and taurus okay so, no i'm not taking all of those thank you we'll just take one card please for Pisces, my little Pisces. What do Pisces need to know this week? Okay, you want me to split them again? Okie dokie. No problemo. Sin problema. <laughs> oh, there it is. Oh, okay. <sighs> Lovely. Star ancestor. Follow the voice of your soul, Pisces. Oh, look at that. That's lovely. Look at the... Look at the constellations. Do you know, I stood outside my house last night and I saw, I mean, the stars were amazing last night and I had this friend with me as well, right? So we, we, I said, come outside and have a look at this. And there was all these fireflies everywhere. Oh my God, it was magical, right? They looked like little fairies. Um, and a, a Pisces would have loved that for sure, would have loved that because they're all, you. I know you're very into that, you know, the esoteric and the magical and the mystical and, uh, you know, and the stars and and that and I and I loved that too. But it was just amazing. The, the 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 stars outside my house at night because I'm on a mountain are just incredible. But they were just beautiful last night, and it it kind of took my breath away, right? And especially with the little fireflies. Um, so this week, uh, the star ancestor, follow the voice of your soul, Pisces. Go outside and stare at the stars, will you please? Yeah, if you can, go into nature, get out of the, the street lights and, uh, and look up at that beautiful sky, right? Because the uh, ancestors uh, are calling your name, Pisces, right? That's my advice to you. Let's just pull one more from the Keepers of the Light. And let's see, follow the voice of your soul, Pisces. We talked about your voice before, right? We've talked about the fact that you've been a little bit meek and mild and we're going into the divine feminine the age of aquarius this energy is that we need sisters to rise up we need to hear your voice yeah maybe you'll get the energy you need from the stars right i don't know where are you going to pull that energy from well that was just flown out so oh look at that of course ascension the serapis bay move into your true self rise above the darkness the light is here oh my god that's so perfect right uh egyptian times right egyptian times past lives ancestors this is your galactic family okay pisces they you've got to go outside and you've got to pull that energy from the from those stars yes um and it says rise above the darkness the light is here well look how bright that sky is it's full of stars right it's absolutely full of stars. You know, on a bright night, it, it, it's not dark at all. It's absolutely lit up, right? Uh, like fairy lights, right? And that's the way you've got to see it. So go outside, pull your energy. This is your ancestral family calling to you. Okay. Boom. Okay. Uh, now we're at Aries. My Airy fairies. Aryans, 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 Aryans. Let's see what they have for you. I 
I have no idea why I started singing that. You're saying, Beth, keep your day job. I don't want to hear you sing. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, beautifully folded, those cards. Beautiful. That was a lovely, uh, uh, a lovely shuffle there. Thank you for that. Okay, Aries. So what do Aries need to know this week, please? What do Aries need to know this week? Thank you. Thank you, angels and ancestors. That's wonderful. Ooh, Aries. Okay, very good. Oh, the warrior. Be fearless and stand strong. Wow. Okay, Aries. Look at that. Oh, he looks a bit mean, doesn't he? He's like, oh, I'm going to war. I'm going to war. Uh... Be fearless and stand strong. I, think, I feel we need some more information. Yeah, Aries get a bad rap as well. I'm not, I'm not very good with Aries. I have to say personally. Although I do have I do have an Aries friend. <laughs> but she says she's not very Aries. She says she's not very uh, Aryan, right? She says, I'm not really an Aries. I don't feel like it. And I, she doesn't really. She doesn't appear to be. Um... Yeah, I need some more information on that. The warrior, be fearless and stand strong. Okay, I'm going to pull another card and I'm going to go... I thought I was going to go for the Akashic, but actually I'm being told to go for the Keepers of the Light. So let's pull another card because I just need some information on that. It's a little bit... Why have you got to be fearless and stand strong? I know that we've got this Gemini energy. Is that messing around with you, Aries? Why have you got to be fearless and stand strong? What's going on? What's going on with Aries? What's going on? With, oh, right, okay, well, that flew out, so that wanted to come out. Let's see. Oh, you've got Joan of Arc. Oh, my God, another warrior. Voice of truth, stand strong, focus on your purpose, release the fear of persecution and speak your truth. Well, there you go. Okay, now it's clear. Okay, so the warrior energy is here. Um, you know that Joan of Arc was um, was persecuted, but she followed the voice of God. So she followed her inner voice. She followed her inner guidance. Um, and you could call it the voice of God. Um, you could call it the angels. You can call it whatever. But she followed those voices that led her to her destiny, right? So there are voices, inner voices, uh, speaking to you, um, Aries. Okay, so that's where you just need to be fearless and, and stand strong. So don't, um, yeah, be fearless. So don't be fearful of the um, of your inner guidance and what your inner guidance is telling you. Follow the joy, follow the love, follow the happiness. What is it in your heart's desire that you want to do? Um, don't listen to everybody else. Put your armor on and go bugger off. I'm doing what I want to do, whether you like it or not, okay? So stand your ground and uh, and speak your truth. Stand strong. I mean, two messages of stand strong, right? God, you must be, you must be getting it from all sides. Release the fear of persecution. Speak your truth. Focus on your purpose, right? Whatever it is you're going to do, there's a message here for you, Pisces. Uh, eh. Sorry, um, Aries, that you really got to go for your um, for your truth. You really got to go for it because there's two messages here and they're both saying stand strong and be fearless. OK, so I hope that makes sense to you. Oh, huh. that sounded like a car. There's hardly any cars come up here. It must be a lost tourist. <laughs> Unless it was a fast tractor. <laughs> oh. Alrighty. So, finally, last but not least. No, I'm not taking all of those. No, let's give it another shuffle, you say. Okay, thank you. I will. Okie dokie. So, Torians, let's have a look. Let's have a look at my little bulls, little bulls, little Taurus. And I didn't say balls, I said bulls. <laughs> Here you go, it's stuck to my, stuck to my hand, right? 
High Priestess. Oh, Harness, the mystic power. Black Cat, all oh, like my Loki. Okay, so, um, yeah, again, this is just a little bit elusive. Harness, mystic power. It's a little bit, it's not very detailed, is it? What's the word I'm looking for? It's a little bit general. Mm. Okay, so let me let me ponder that. Let's get another card for you, Taurians. Okay, you want me to go for the Akashic? No problem. No problem. Okay, Akashic Records. So High Priestess, harness the mystic power. Well, again, you've got the Merkaba in the background, but slightly different. And you're holding the wand. Mm. Ancestors. Ancestors calling to you. Okay, what's the message here for Taurians? What's the message? Is? Well, it's a winged message because it's a high priestess, but she's got wings. Yeah, so it's, uh, and the black cat's very lucky, so it's obviously some sort of message coming in. It's not really clear with that card, so, so let's see. Okay, let me split them again. That's the third time I will have split them and shuffled them. But that's what the spirits are telling me. Split the cards again, Beth. Okie dokie. <coughs> There's the little voice in my ear. God, that's way too many. That's three cards. I just want one, please. Can you just be a bit clear, please? I just want Taurus for this week. Taurus, June 14th, June 14th, whatever tomorrow is, Monday. The second second week of, thank you. Okay. Oh, paths unknown. All right, well, that's why it was unclear then. <laughs> so the high priestess, harness mystic power. It's a bit general, isn't it? Paths unknown is the card. So your path is a bit unclear right now, Taurus. Look, she's pondering. She's standing in the woods. She's going, mm, which direction shall I take? So that's what it is. So you are in the middle. You've got all of this mystic power, all of this lovely energy around you. But which way are you going to go, Taurus? Right? I don't know. I can't help you out with this. But you're going to have to make a decision. You do have choices, right? Um, and it's all going to be good, right? You can never go wrong, really, right? And if you do go wrong, you go down that path and you go wrong, you just turn back and come back and go down the other one, right? This is life. This is all part. It's all part of the journey, man, right? It's all part of the journey. Life is never about the destination. Life is always about the journey. So, um, so just get on a path. Choose a path. Stop procrastinating. Get on a path, right? You have got lucky spirit with you right now you've got luck on your side so just choose a path and just go for it and just move forward okay move forward take one step at a time close your eyes i, I don't care how you do it but just choose something right because you're a bit stuck right now going hmm where shall i go i don't know but you've got to keep the energy moving or you're going to get more stuck right <laughs> Yes, uh, good, lovely. So, um, so we pulled a card for the energy for the week. And then we did uh, Gemini all the way through to Taurus. So I'm just going to have a little bit of water. Oh, so, oh, I love my card. So thank you. Thank you, Spirit. I like to say thank you, Spirit. Be an attitude of gratitude every morning, guys, right? It's very, very important um, to have that thank you in the morning. Thank you for my coffee. Thank you for my water. Thank you for my fridge full of food. Thank you for my lovely sleep. Thank you for the blue sky. Thank you for the beach, right? Thank you for the mountain. Thank you for my view, right? Thank you for my sofa, I can lie down and be comfortable. Thank you for my Wi-Fi that I can work today. Right, so what are you grateful for today, yes? So every day, grateful for something, yeah? Really, really important to be grateful. The more that you're grateful for, the more it comes back to you, right? 
positive energy, positivity generates positivity, right? So, um, so I want you this week just to to be positive every morning for at least three things. Try and make it five. It's very easy, right? Very easy to find five things to be happy about, right? Just before you do anything, before you look at your phone, before you start talking to anybody, yeah, the moment you wake up, uh, three, four or five things that you're grateful for. Happy for my great night's sleep. I'm happy that I've woken up and I've got my health. I'm happy for my life. I'm happy for my breath, right? I'm happy for my sight. My legs work. My arms are working. I'm happy that I've got a full, complete body that functions, right? Um, whatever it is, just be grateful, okay? So that's my challenge to everybody this week. And uh, I'm, I'm really hoping that you have a lovely Sunday evening. Uh, I know the sun is shining in the UK. The sun is shining here in Italy too. So go out and enjoy it. Sit in the garden. Sit in the nice evening sun. I know it's light till about 10 o'clock there, right? Here it's light till about 8 o'clock, 8.30. Different, um, uh, different um, uh, equator lines, right? We're, we're away from the equator or close to the equator. And so it gets darker a little bit sooner here. So go out in, if you're in the UK, go out and enjoy that. In the US, go out and enjoy the sun if it's shining, right? Uh, enjoy the nature. Listen to the birds. All right, even if it's just on your balcony, yeah, get a bit of vitamin D on your skin, yes, and just feel the warmth of the sun. It's such a beautiful feeling. All right, beautiful souls, thank you so much for joining me, and I'll see you very soon. Maybe next Sunday, maybe before. Who knows? I might do a little surprise video in the middle of the week. Oh, I might do. Okay, so I'll see you soon. I love you. Bye-bye.